Sacramento State basketball has not found life to be particularly welcoming at the Division I level. Since making the jump to D1 hoops in 1991, the Hornets have a 32% winning percentage overall. Worse yet, those Hornets have as many winning seasons as they have one win seasons, two apiece in each case. A big reason for their lack of success starts with the team's home. The Hornets' nest is awful in no uncertain terms. If it's not the worst venue in college basketball, it's undoubtedly in that conversation. After years and decades of trying to find a new home for their basketball teams and all their indoor sports teams, Sacramento State just may have found a solution. Unfortunately, that solution involves replacing the most awful college basketball arena with something potentially worse. When I first heard Sac State was getting a new basketball arena, I was stoked for the Hornets. They are a program that deserves some good fortune after so many difficult seasons and decisions and just really it's it's not been easy sledding for Sac State at the D1 level of basketball. Unfortunately, as I heard more details about this potential new place to play for the Hornets, I became decidedly less stoked about it. In November, Sac State President Luke Wood announced that all indoor athletics would be moving to a new event center in the well, otherwise known as the school's student wellness facility. This is a gym. It's got some intramural sports courts in it. There's some other offices and stuff like that. It's not really a place where you would envision a basketball arena being. Don't get me wrong. The well is an extremely nice new building on the CSUS campus, but I could not really picture how they were going to make an arena work here. In fact, an arena doesn't seem to be the plan at all. Instead, Wood explained the school would be adding temporary bleachers around the well's largest basketball court. Even by Sac State standards, this seems pretty rinky-dink. Those hoping for the school to under-promise and over-deliver should not be holding their breath either. CSU has approved $5.2 million for the project. This means it will be as bare bones as possible. When factoring in the need for other required add-ons like scoreboards, this new quote-unquote arena is going to be nothing more than an intramural basketball court with some retractable bleachers surrounding it. Beyond that, we know $5.2 million is not getting you a whole hell of a lot in today's college athletics facilities race. We have a pair of recent Big Sky basketball focused projects that can be compared to what Sac State is doing here. Portland State renovated the Stott Center, including basketball's Viking Pavilion, a few years back at a cost of $52 million. Idaho built a new ICCU arena for $51 million. Both are incredibly nice projects that add a lot to their campus while replacing woefully outdated and inadequate facilities. This is also roughly a tenth of what Sacramento State intends to spend on converting an intramural court into a Division I basketball arena. It's really hard to envision a scenario where this ends well. Actually, it will end in the well because that's the name of the place the facility is going to be in, but it's not going to end well as in good. You know what? This is all confusing. Let's just move past this. On one hand, I fully understand Sac State's desire to get the hell out of the hornet's nest and spend as little money as possible to do so. The school isn't flush with cash and investing in a new basketball arena for a program that has been historically poor probably is not the best use of money. On the other hand, this seems like a bad idea, a really, really bad idea. When you do something for cheap, you almost regret it immediately. Seriously, how many stadiums have made cheap renovations only to find out a few years down the road what they did wasn't enough and end up spending even more money in the long run by cutting corners exactly like what CSUS is doing right here and right now? No one will argue that Sacramento State needs a new place for its indoor sports teams. 
The hornet's nest has been outdated and in need of replacing for decades now. It's a bad place for college basketball. It's small, it's old, it's bad, it turns away fans. It literally is a albatross around the neck of Sacramento State's men's and women's basketball teams, the volleyball team, all of the programs attached to the hornet's nest. It sucks. This new plan, converting an intramural space into some sort of quasi-arena, it does not seem like the answer though. You are basically replacing the worst arena in all of college basketball with something worse. Or at the very best, what will be a lateral move. And if you're spending $5.2 million, you should be doing something a little better than making a lateral move. The school is simply slapping some bleachers, a scoreboard, and a new PA system around an intramural basketball court and calling it a day. We do not have any renders or any designs on what this is going to look like. What we do know though is that $5.2 million doesn't get you anywhere when it comes to developing a sporting venue, a sporting facility, especially one at the Division I level. I just can't help but think, man, that money has to be able to go to something better than simply replacing one bad place to watch basketball with another equally bad place to watch basketball. This doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe CSUS has an ace in the hole no one knows about. Maybe they found a way to get so much out of this $5 million and develop a facility that will be better than the hornet's nest. But honestly, what I believe is that this new arena is going to be basically just as bad, if not worse, than the hornet's nest because at least the hornet's nest didn't require five million dollars to renovate or whatever the case may be here. This just, it's a bad idea. I wanna see Sacramento State basketball be able to compete and in order to compete, it needs a venue, a home that attracts recruits, attracts fans, ultimately attracts donors. I mean, all of this stuff, the program has struggled with for 30 years now. Instead, Sac State seems content shuffling deck chairs on the Titanic, hoping no one will realize that you're getting really the same bad experience just with a slightly different coat of paint. I've said this on the channel before, I really would like Sac State to be competitive in athletics because I think it's something the school needs Overall, Sac State struggles with its identity. It struggles with bringing in new students. It struggles shedding this reputation as being a suboptimal commuter school that's like everyone's ninth choice. It's better than that. And I think with the football team success, you're seeing school pride. People are having more pride in Sac State. This new basketball arena, quote unquote, new basketball arena, this isn't gonna help tap into that school pride. It's not going to help build Sac State as a university brand, but I I don't know, maybe Sac State administration knows something I don't, and maybe they have found a way to do more with $5 million than anyone has ever seen before when it comes to making a college basketball facility. That does it for me. I'm Cheyenne Hollis, stingers up, and hashtag take it out to the 25.